good evening everyone, well, good evening to the UK viewers, and good morning elsewhere, and I'm going to be making a video showcasing Windows Vienna Milestone 20. Well, Windows Vienna Milestone 20, I have decided that is the final release of Windows Vienna, because I mean, what else is there to change? I'm just going to show you guys what's been changed, a bunch of other things as well, so I'm going to just load up the ISO real quick. Here it is, yeah, it's called Windows Vienna Ultimate Final. As in, it's the final version of Windows Vienna. And it's probably not going to be updated anymore because it takes a lot of time to, you know, make custom versions of Windows. And I said I, I would stop after Windows Earth, so... And, um, I just want to show you, like, a little tutorial for those who, um... Yeah, so basically, just watch right now, just after I change the specs of this VM just so it will run Vienna nice and smooth. If you don't want Windows Vienna to install unattended, just watch what I'm about to do here. So you just close out of that, uncheck power on virtual machine, and then click finish. And once the virtual machine is created, just click floppy, and remove, and OK. And now it should just um, boot like any other installation of Windows. So basically what an unattended installation is, is, it's an installation that requires no user input, it just installs all automatically, which is what VMware Easy Install is. I've always wanted to change that green scrolling bar, but I've, I've tried to edit ncoskernel.exe. There's um, hex values that make up the colours because there's a colour palette that overlays that animation. I've tried it, but um, even with disabling integrity checks, it still um, just doesn't work, so I'm not going to bother changing that. After all, it doesn't really matter, it's only a C little animation. So yeah, we're just going to install Windows Vienna like we would install it on a PC. So, let's wait for that to load, click no for that. Yeah, look, I mean, I might as well just, look, I've literally changed everything, it's, there's like nothing left that doesn't really need to be changed. So we're just going to click next on here and carry on the installation. And I'll show you in a sec, I've added some more changes, especially to the installation. As you can see, these are now purple instead of green. And um, yeah, I'll show you even more changes once we get to the out of box experience. Oh, and for those of you who are wondering how to get the Windows Vienna ISO, or the latest and up most up-to-date version, simply just um, go to my channel and there should be a little link here that's called Windows Vienna. Just click on that, and it should load up the Windows Vienna page of my website. And I'll uh, just click on Transformation Pack in ISO. And um, if you want to get the ISO, just click on ISOs. Uh, X64 is Windows Vienna Ultimate, and X86 is Windows Vienna Starter. So what you're going to want to do is click X64, and here you are, look. Windows Vienna fi Final ISO. You just click download. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download that. So for those of you who want to download, just simply just follow exactly what I did. And yeah, you should be golden. All right, so here we are in the out of box experience. I added my um, pet cat as a profile picture because my pet cat is adorable. His name is Rocky, by the way. I've added a whole bunch of user account pictures just for any kind of person. You know, I've added a dog as well because, you know, I like dogs as well. I kind of wish I had a dog, to be fair, especially a Labrador. So anyway, yeah, enough of that. Let's create a user account. I'll just call it Vista because I, I am Vista. And I'll set this as my profile picture because <laughs> why not? I've added some new wallpapers, but not many. You know, I think I don't think there's any need to add any more wallpapers to Windows Vienna. I think it's got a little more than enough wallpapers, but I, I would say this is probably the best one I've taken out of all of them. Well, I think they're all quite nice actually, but we're going to go with the default wallpaper, so we'll just click next. Since Vista doesn't really get updates anymore, I'm just going to click ask me later. I wish I could create an extended kernel ISO, but I'm not going to do that because the extended kernel does not belong to me, it belongs to Win32 and all the other people who have created it, so no, I'm not stealing their work. If you want the extended kernel in Vienna, you're going to have to apply it manually. There we go, let's just click start. Yeah, I've added some minor changes, such as that, and again, I've added some minor changes to the um, little slideshow, which tells you a little bit more about Windows Vienna and all my links and everything. So yeah, here's like a little thing telling you about Windows Vienna, just some basic 
and brief little summary of Windows Vienna. I didn't want to get into too much detail, otherwise too much text would make it look a bit ugly, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we'll just wait for this to, um, we'll wait for Windows Vienna to assess the computer's performance, as it says down here. So here we are. It's all installed, it's all loaded up. And now we'll just wait for it to log on to the desktop. Alright, so here we are on my desktop. So now we're just going to install VMware Tools. Oh, and by the way guys, um, if you're going to install Windows Vienna in a VM, I mean, if you are going to use a later version of VMware, I recommend using an older version of VMware Tools, otherwise the Aero theme might not function correctly, and worst case scenario, it might just not work at all. So I highly recommend either use an old version of VMware Tools, or just an older version of VMware in general, because right now I'm using VMware 14, I think that's the best version of VMware to use Vienna on. Or uh, I'll say about VMware 10 up to VMware 14 works just fine. Maybe even VMware 15 works fine because I haven't tested that. I just think it's VMware 16 and up that just seems to have problems with Windows Vista in general because Windows Vienna is a Windows Vista OS. It's basically just Windows Vista with an alternative visual style because at the end of the day that is all Vienna is and that's all I want Vienna to be. I don't know why this glitches out. It does that in Vista, it does that in 7. I don't know why it just does that. It's kind of weird. Anyway, we'll be back once the VMware Tools has installed. As you can see, I've um, bundled MyPal with Windows Vienna. But I've, I've bundled it with an installer because if it were to be, you know, pre-installed, it would make the ISO really huge. I mean, the ISO is big enough as it is. I've tried um, optimizing some of the icons and everything because some of them were far too large. But since I've added some new gadgets to Windows Vienna, it's kind of made the ISO a little bit heavier. Does, doesn't really matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to my default browser, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So um, there we go. My power is now the browser. So wh what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to Welcome Center again. And I've added this um, little thing, so this used to be um, Windows Live Messenger download, but since that's long dead, I decided to integrate my website into Windows Vienna. So what I did is that I, um, there's an XML file where there's a link to that website, so what I did is I replaced the link from the Windows Live Messenger site to my website. So if you click learn more online, it should immediately take you to my download site which is a pretty nice touch so if you want to download anything from it will save you from having to look for my site having to google it but to be fair like the SEO of my website is pretty good I'll just go to google.com and let me show you what I mean by that so if I were to search Windows Vienna yeah, look, it literally comes up immediately which is pretty nice so yeah, if you want to um, download extras for Windows Vienna or any other version of Windows that I have here, it should, um, everything's here look like I um, showcased earlier. So yeah, that's all that done, that's that change. And again, regarding the gadgets, I'm going to show you some of the gadgets I added. I got these off win7gadgets.com, I fixed the weather gadget, oh that does that just a little bit. All you have to do is just um, reload the gadget, yeah look, that, that fixed it, as you can see look. And it, it literally works, works perfect once you've let that work. So let me just drag and draw back to a desktop. It's literally like the old Vista weather gadget slash Windows 7 one. You can literally see the days of the week and the weather listed, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it fetches this data from Microsoft News, whatever this is. Yeah. So um, also I've changed the um, colors of the, um, I've, ch I've changed the ribbon and the preview pane colors like Windows Longhorn because I thought that would be a nice touch. So documents is light blue, or sky blue, or baby blue, and um, pictures is green, and um, music is a um, violet kind of colour, and um, everything else is just um, this, the default Windows Vienna look. Also videos is also blue as well, because anything regarding visual media is green. And as you can see, look, the colour of the preview pane corresponds with the colour of the ribbon up here. So yeah, not pretty nice touches in my opinion. So yeah, this is all This is all the changes I've made in Windows Vienna Milestone 20, which is now the final version of Windows Vienna. I won't be updating Windows Vienna anymore, because I mean, I've literally changed the, um, I've changed everything. Look, even Windows, yeah, even Windows Media Center's changed. Also, I've also, um, changed some of the, um, pictures. No, I'm not going to do that. No. 
So you know these um pictures. These were um an ugly kind of purple. They, they were far too saturated in um purple tints. So what I did is that I restored the original color values of all these images just to make them look like this, just like their natural color. Although I've kept a slight purple color to them. Let me just show you another one. This one, for instance, I've, it's got a slight purple to it, but it's not over the top like old Vienna. Because earlier versions of Windows Vienna were kind of, they took the um, purple coloring too far. So I thought I would, um, yeah, this, this, this picture here is um, natural, 100%. That's how it looked exactly right off the bat. So um, it's got some pink. It really does complement the colours of Windows Vienna, especially, I'm really glad I um, added these visual, these um, little visual effects where it changes colour, because it, it matches other colours in like desktop backgrounds and stuff, it just blends in with whatever your desktop looks like a little better really. I've added some more sample music, so, yeah so here it is, I've added some new songs here, I've also added a sample video, let me just show you that real quick, so in videos. I've added a new sample video, and again, yeah, look, I literally changed everything, like it says Windows Vienna and not Vista. So yeah, this is a 640 by 480 video, like the Windows Vista sample media. As you can see, it's just a very basic video, but like Vistas were. I've introduced some new wallpapers, let me show you those real quick. I've introduced this one, it's basically just viewing out of a window. This was inspired by Windows 7 build. 7000's um, sample pictures because it had one of the sample pictures was it viewing out of a window so I thought I would do something like that as well. So yeah these are all the Windows Vienna wallpapers. Yeah I made this one a long time ago this one and um yeah I got my friend to, to take some wallpapers as well one of my in real life friends took some wallpapers and I'll show you the ones that he's taken. He's taken this one which is really nice. He's taken this one and he's taken this one as well. Yeah, the, he, he's done some really nice wallpapers and it really helps out really. And that's about it now. Windows Vienna is, well, complete. Windows Vienna is finally complete. Windows Vienna has taken me around, um, how long has it taken me? So 2018 was when I first started um, development for Windows Vienna. So Windows Vienna has been in development for um, nearly five years. Crazy. It's taken me five years to perfect this um, custom version of Windows Vista and I really do believe that I tell you what I'm really proud of Windows Vienna I think it's definitely my best work probably the best thing I've ever created so yeah we're just gonna rate the computer as you can see I've literally changed e e literally everything <clears throat> pardon me got a cold so do excuse me I've literally changed everything and I mean everything so now there's literally nothing to change oh, and about this no battery detected that's just because I'm running on my main system it even shows you the um battery usage here look which is pretty cool but there isn't any battery because this is a desktop standalone system so this should work on laptops so yeah this is um pretty much it windows vienna as i've said a million times already it's complete so there isn't really a whole lot else to talk about because at the end of the day yeah windows vienna is just a custom version of Windows Vista and that is all Windows Vienna aims to be it doesn't aim to be anything crazy Windows Vienna's purpose is just an alternate an alternative version of Windows Vista and I think it suits its purpose it really does fulfill its purpose because its purpose isn't much but it does fulfill its purpose and I think it fulfills it perfectly it's just Windows Vista with a few more customization options because I've patched a theme related DLL files because in Windows Vista you can't apply a custom theme without patching those files but Windows Vienna has them pre-patched so you can apply any custom theme right out the box with Windows Vienna. You can even apply the Vista theme if you wanted to, it's just that easy really. Windows Vienna is just a slightly tweaked Windows Vista at the end of the day, it's really nothing amazing. Well it is amazing but just not in a in a complex way, a rather superficial way really. So yeah, I'm just going to demonstrate Windows DVD Maker, I've even changed this as well. I've changed it even more than just the icon as you can see here, when my mouse is hovering I've changed the icon for it, but I've done a little more than just that. If I open Stream, which is a um, video clip I've done, just click next, yeah look, I've changed, I've changed literally nearly everything and I'll show you this look, yeah it's literally Windows Vienna, let me just preview that real quick, yeah as you can see it's just, um, it's all matches the Windows Vienna theme at the end of the day, it's pretty cool and I'm quite proud of it. So I'm just gonna show you WinSat Aurora, I've made slight updates to that as well. 
as you can see look it, it now complements the new look to Windows Vienna because the old Windows Vienna was a more pink kind of look but the later Windows Vienna appearance was a much more cooler purple violety colour if you, if you get what I mean so yeah this is Winsat Aurora on Windows Vienna so yeah anyway that's, that's about it really with Windows Vienna if you want to download Windows Vienna I will show you how to do that one last time well actually now like if you're watching this on Windows Vienna which you're probably not but you might be I'm just gonna hold it let me turn on this connectivity animation because yeah I've, I've literally changed practically everything in, in Windows Vienna so um yeah we're gonna go to welcome center click this link here and um yeah so if you want to download Windows Vienna just go to my site click extras and click Windows Vienna and simply just click on transformation pack in ISO and click ISOs click x64 because that's the ultimate version and just simply click that link and all you have to do is just save the file and there you go I've updated this icon here the what's new in Windows Vienna icon has been changed because the old one, the Vienna logo, but the um, After Effects, you know, like the glowing, it had um, the wrong colours, so I've changed that to look more realistic. So yeah, Windows Vienna Milestone 20 is just um, basically the final version of Windows Vienna. It's um, the release candidate, if you will. And if I'm going to take that a step further, Milestone 20 is basically Windows Vienna quote-unquote RTM. I'm going to say that in the loosest terms. So yeah, that's about it now. Thanks for watching and I hope you like Windows Vienna because I've, I've put a lot of effort into Windows Vienna. I've, I've worked so hard on it. I've, I've um, yeah, I've spent four years making this OS. Let me just, oh, no, I don't want to click there. I want to click up here. So yeah, if you, you can, you can always change the pro profile picture anytime. Change it to that because why not? So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. You know, that next, I've managed to find the oldest version of Windows Vienna, like a Windows Vienna alpha version so yeah if you want me to make a video on comparing the first ever version of windows vienna to the latest version of windows vienna just let me know in the comments and if you want to see more videos like this oh i was just watching that because i think i've done a pretty good job on this trailer although the voice the text -to speech voice kind of ruins it to be fair but yeah if, if you if you're interested in me making a windows vienna original version versus the latest version let me know in the comments and before this video ends I appreciate if you like and subscribe the video because Windows Vienna has taken me, it's taken a lot of time, resources to make Windows Vienna and a lot of effort as well. So yeah, I think it was totally worth it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video and goodbye.